Hello. Just waiting for Tara to come on live. Welcome to the Heart of Real Estate with um, Aaron and Tara shall join you shortly. <laughs> Today um, we are going to connect with you on our thoughts about family and real estate uh, and our big why. Both Tara and I share that as our compliment. Um, is definitely family is a very big part of why we do what we do so let's just give Tara a quick second there she is hi Tara come on live lady hey. hello hello it worked oh it's working okay yeah let's see. so we are live today talking about family and, and why um, and how family plays a very big, big role in real estate. Now, we have perspective on that that spans a few dimensions. Not only is real estate, we live in real estate, but we own real estate. Um, we also transact real estate in our families. So um, we have a, a different perspective um, that we wish to share today. So thanks for joining, Tara. Yes, hello, hello, it finally worked. <laughs> we figured out the dual video. Anybody who saw us come on earlier, we were um, <laughs> trying to get both of our videos to go at the same time. If you need to figure out how, you got to both be on uh, mobile devices, right, Tara? We learned that we yes. have to both be on the devices. And... We did, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. family, Tara, tell me, what does family mean to you? Because I know it's one of your big value systems like mine. Oh, absolutely. It is uh, family first. It's the reason why I wanted to get into real estate was family. I wanted to make sure that I was going to be able to not miss a Christmas concert. My mom had to work all the time, three or four different jobs just to make ends meet. And she never did got to attend when I was on stage. So as soon as I had kids, I know that that was a part for me. And then real estate, it's leverage and working smarter. And as much as it is separate and it's business, and there's a way that you can integrate. So yeah. um, that's it's fantastic. I don't know how many times I've had a showing for a tenant and my kids are entertaining their other kids or, you know what I mean? And like, it's, yeah. So, yeah. I and think for that's yourself, awesome. That yeah, in our businesses, we can bring our children along and teach them what we're doing and why and, and give them perspective about the yeah. people who are, are, you know, living in the homes that we're owning, but also utilizing our services as realtors and investors. Um, you know, for, for those who know, we wish to home educate our kids or create at least a very um, collaborative uh, environment for them to learn as they go about their daily business and about our business. Our family business is as much to help them and to create opportunity and open doors for them in their lives as it is for us to create a, a financial stable future and create opportunities. So family is, is a big driving factor for us. In fact, both of my parents were just on. Hi, mom. Hi, dad. It's nice to see you guys on <laughs> online. You guys are, are one of my big inspirations for family. Honestly, learn how to to love as, as deeply and intently as I do from you. So thank you for that gift. And thank you for everything that's led me to real estate today. You know, I, I have to give a lot of thanks to that. I, I, I honor the fact that you are so like, I want to homeschool and that vision for your family. And I, I, I find that so inspiring. And I know just starting our friendship truly now watching you on Facebook and how you and Michelle have integrated your kids already in the realtor part I thought is fantastic and it inspired me having the little pamphlets of that you guys are taking around and and uh, to the neighbors and I just thought that that was so awesome because you are collaborating and showing them what it's possible and to I found that that was awesome so thank you for being well, why there. Not, why not take them along with us and teach them what, what good work can be like, right? You know, um, I think one, one environment when people just go to work and, and don't necessarily have the kids who get to see what they're doing on a daily basis, they maybe don't have the same, um, they may take for granted or they don't have the same exposure ahead of time of what it takes to get to your goals. And so uh, a lot of times we're just, a, you know, um, we're very excited about what the goal could bring or what, what will be at the end of the journey. And we don't always know what we'll have to do to get there and the hard work and commitment that it takes. So 
I hope that our kids will learn that and get to participate too. Actually, I was really inspired. We have these friends who also invest in real estate and they were commenting about how at nighttime when they say their prayers and they do their bedtime routine with their children, they always talk about their tenants. And so they give thanks to the people who are living in their homes right now. Oh, uh, and awesome. that what a gift that is giving to their kids, right? They're being very aware about the humanity of, uh, of the opportunity that we have as, as rental property owners, right? Yeah, that's, that's really beautiful that they say that for thanks. So I appreciate for also saying that as well. That's, that's fantastic. I'm going to incorporate that for sure. That's, that's beautiful. Yeah. And the power of sharing now you get new ideas. So, right. That's awesome. Well, how does real estate impact, impact your life, Tara? Why did you choose real estate for your family? Why? Leverage. Yeah. I, I, the power of leverage is, is amazing if you stop and think about not only leveraging who you know as a, as a network, but finances. Like, I don't need to have all the money to buy a $300,000 asset. I only need this much, and then the bank is going to get me this much, and my tenant pays for it. So, like, the power to create wealth with leverage is amazing and you never know again on a network level on who you talk to on who you're going to meet who's that next person who's also going to share a vision with with you and that you can share a story with right absolutely and when you think about leverage let's be honest anybody who takes on the commitment of caring for other little people who or people who can't pay for themselves pay their own way it costs a lot of money uh, there's a lot of commitment and resources involved in raising little people. And we, we as uh, young family members, we, we get that extremely. And so our resources are at a premium right now. I'm tired most of the time, but I still want to do what it's going to take to get to where I've got to go, right? Um, real mm -hmm. estate gives me the opportunity to leverage what resources we do have to set aside for today and for tomorrow and to create a plan where we're going to be able to um, you know get to where we want to go sorry yeah no like I just I feel very much like it's I don't need to say sorry but it, you know it, it does give you that leverage like you're saying to take the what you already have at your hand and multiply it into more for the future yeah, absolutely yeah for sure. And yeah, kids, they do. We went boot shopping the other day and she wanted the $75 boots. That's it. She's it's got expensive taste. Like you're going to grow out of it by the next winter, 75 bucks. <laughs> Value Village, you might find them there for $20 or one of the resale stores, right? Yeah. Yes. You know, I know you're saying that about Value Village. Yeah. Oh, I'm a big fan. Yeah. My, my goal right now is to stretch our dollar and to make the most of it. I don't have, um, you know, our aspirations are, are that of, of being able to create opportunity, but not necessarily for uh, for fancy monetary things. For us, that it's more uh, lifestyle, experiential, connecting with nature, having opportunity to spend a lot of time with family and take care mm -hmm. and, and nurture our family over the years. So um, for me, making Moment. my money go further is of utmost in value to that goal, to achieving that goal, right? Yes. Moments versus things. Absolutely. Yeah, definitely. Now, for me, a big thing about real estate is that we can do it anywhere. You know, I'm in my basement office right now at home. You can see uh, not only do I have all my office stuff, but there's there's a toy house, <laughs> the, all the craft supplies. And I've even made a standing table with a little ledge for Alyssa to do her own work at. And she absolutely loves it. So she she always likes to come and work with mom and dad. Uh, I think that we're teaching them some some really cool habits and skills in terms of how to be a you know an active participant in in the whole in the family as a whole, you know, and that also takes our um, you know living life on purpose to another level because instead of just having a a mission statement for our business, we have one for our life for our whole family and the way that we show up on a daily basis. I haven't put it up on the wall yet, but that's one of my goals for this year is to have like a, a bit of a, a display where I put our, we put our, our family vision and mission and then some of our top values uh, that we choose to live by as a family so that we're always really aligned. And that'll go up into our living room. So I'll show you that at a future date when we get that done. 
Yeah, I like that. Because we do, we need the reminders. Because it's so, as parents, it's so easy to get caught up in the doing. Yeah, the doing, you got to wake up and you just got to keep doing and doing and you're tired. So you just got to keep doing and doing where being reminded of those values and that mission statement brings you back to being versus yeah, exactly. doing. And getting yeah. everybody, keeping everybody on the same mission so that we're all moving towards the same end goal together, right? Yeah. I don't absolutely. know. If, did you watch that video I shared this morning? No, That's I've been funny video sitting here okay. doing my own work stuff. <laughs> it's uh, it was no, very appropriate. Uh, one of the ladies in uh, Real Estate Mom Mastermind group shared it to our page this morning, but it uh, is a funny video about work life balance. Uh, and how many times the whole point is how many times do you ask a man how he balances everything right and this isn't meant to be a mom versus a dad thing but in general we think about balance that it's supposed to be a, a give and take and I think that that's BS in my opinion I think that really leaves a lot of room for people to feel like it's supposed to be tit for tat like if I do something then you're supposed to balance the scales out and suddenly it's always about trying to keep balance or or trying to keep the momentum the same or consistent when let's be honest in this season of life and of young business and old business it's not about that it's it's really about connection and integration collaboration and putting everybody's resources together which are complementary and not just equal that's the problem we don't have equal skill sets we don't all have equal um, gifts that we bring to the equation so why are we trying to be exactly the same, right? And, and equal to each other, equal to the process. That's my big rant no, on I, that. But I, I really feel like no, it's... I completely um, agree. As soon as you think it's tit for tat, then you're actually working against each other and not for each other. Like it's putting your best foot forward and just being always in effort to be there right? As long as Absolutely. you keep an effort, oh, yeah. it's not tit for tat. But as soon as it is tit for tat, it feels more like we're against versus together. Yeah, I, I agree with you fully. My dad has this saying where, you know, some people think that a relationship is 50-50 to equal 100. How many people in your in your family? We have four, so maybe it'd be like 25, 25, 25. But it's, it's not that to equal 100. We're each bringing our own 100% to make something net new and, and bigger together, right? So in mm -hmm. the, you know, the scenario of a couple like Michelle and I, who are have family and we have realty, we have real estate investment and we have other little side hustles on the go, we can't just look at it as, as one or the other and each of us trying to match it because each bucket needs its own weight and we only have so much capacity and, and resources and we have distractions such as kids, not distractions in a bad way, but they, um, they certainly have their own flow that needs to be considered. Totally. And I found as a constant reminder for myself that, you know, you're in the hustle and you're like, okay, this is my big goal for this is where I want to go. It is easy to have the kids come up and you're just like, oh, they feel like a distraction, but taking that breath and realizing that they are the legacy, like they are why like with, without having a children, I don't think I'd be on this journey because I wouldn't be as motivated to provide for someone else as I was myself. So Absolutely. always being, I don't know, but it happens. And you know, you're a parent and you're doing lots of things and it happens, but just being aware that they, they aren't the distraction when that moment comes up. That's a, it's a big, and it's a constant thing for me to do that. They're the reason why. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Right. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Can you tag the people? Because I can't tag them watching. Are you what able you to do that? Well, they're, when it says watching, can you wave? I can wave at people. I'll wave at all the people. Yeah. Hello, Kim. Hello, Travis. <laughs> I'll wave at everybody. Okay. Okay. Yeah, because I, I don't have... Oh, there. Hi, I got the wave. I'm like being, uh, being on this side. I see them, but I can't touch maybe because I'm joining. 
Okay, so for all those who don't know what we're talking about, we're practicing having simultaneous live broadcasts because we're not in the same house today. Um, and so we both are on our own mobile devices streaming live and, and just having some fun here. So we're learning new technology. Now I went on live and Tara joined, so she's currently looking at what settings she has. So anyhow, little sidebar update on Thank our you. technology. Hi, Kim. I'm so excited for the build days, by the way. I just signed up for Friday and Saturday, and I am uh, pretty darn stoked. Uh, Habitat for Humanity, the Real Estate Intelligence Network, they're having a couple of build days at the end of November, early December. And um, if you don't have information about that already, let me know, and I would love to see you out there, because it's so connected to what we're talking about, families. Habitat for Humanity does an, a lot of work helping families across the country and across the world find secure and safe housing. And by way of find, I mean contribute to the, their own projects and the giving back to the community. It's all about, um, yeah, just everybody coming together to create community and create homes in the process. Are you gonna come, Tara? You should put the link on the bottom. So people okay, can I will. click. I'll make sure that I follow up and put that link for the registration day on the bottom. Yeah, I've actually never done a Habitat for Humanity build. Actually, one of my tenants just got approved. So oh, really? uh, when she's up, she's going to be moving into a Habitat for Humanity house. So um, that's pretty cool. Yeah, she got picked to be a, a buyer. So yeah, that's but so no, great. I've never done it. I've never done it. I'd like to put the hat on. Sure. I was an electrician for a in... year. I was horrible at it. But uh, <laughs> I'm sure. Yeah, but you know what? The nice thing is the project like the Carter build, they have things in all different stages. So you probably can find uh, a few different things to do depending on what you want to do, right? And the, then you're just trying to do your best for the day, right? They have lots of help. Yeah. So I'd love, yeah, come Friday because that would be a, a good day. Which I think. Friday? The 30th of okay. November. I'll put it down in my, my book. And then you can tell your, your tenant that you're doing that too. She'll love that. Yay, Yay, one yeah. more sign up, Kim. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, go team. That's awesome. So, so Kim, who's online right now and said hi, she's a, a part of Habitat and does absolutely fantastic work and has a heart of gold, absolutely inspiring how much this lady loves to help in our community. And so I love being around her. We're looking forward to giving back to Habitat for Humanity and the Carter Build in Edmonton. Again, I will put the link at the bottom when we're, we're done our chat today. Yeah. And I like the fact that with Habitat is that they like, it's not just a free house. They still have to pay for it. Yeah. Are you okay? <laughs> yeah. I dropped my glass. <laughs> Opa. <laughs> yeah. They still have to pay for it and they have to contribute. They don't just get a house when they sign up. It's not a, uh, it's not a handout. It's a hand up that really leaves people, I think knowing way more than they ever did about uh, finances and everything. Uh, at the end of the the whole process really and, and having value in their in their home yeah yes we definitely are kim i think it will be a fun and productive day i'm glad that, yeah. uh, that you're online today well and the fact that they actually have to pay and it helps them with their finances it helps just to build more home so when you donate it just it spreads that dollar out even more and then when you volunteer like we can yep. get so many people into home ownership who are never into home ownership and be able to have roots of their own that they can't get without this type of program. So that's fantastic. Absolutely. And at the last uh, donation day we were at, you know, you see the families that are directly impacted. The kids are so excited that they're going to be moving into their space. That's stability. And that is that is home and family at the heart of it right there for a lot of people is it mm -hmm. just comes down to having that that space that surrounds the people who you love all living together in harmony and to create that and, and create opportunities for that, whether it's through Habitat for Humanity or owning good quality investment real estate that you you share with other people or even just being a member of the, the homeownership community, owning your own piece of real estate, you are giving back and you are creating that, that sense of community, right? Totally. Yes, absolutely. I remember one story from the rain stage with the habitat that uh, they actually, they've never been able to paint their own walls before because they were renters. Yep. It's just those small things where you can, 
have. And as a kid, you know, like I want to have my, my son is all I want to have black walls, but he he's able to have that dream. Not that we will paint yep. his whole room black, but it's ours. <laughs> so it's something that, you know what I mean? Like, it's Absolutely. not a shut down conversation. It's a conversation, <laughs> right? So yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, I'll definitely look up, look into it for sure. Awesome. Was there anything else that you needed to say to be complete? I don't think so for today. I think, uh, you know, we haven't really done a lot of engaging our, our viewers today in terms of what their thoughts are on family and how mm -hmm. family, in, you know, integrates into their world and real estate and even how it plays into their decision as to why they're doing what they're doing. Um, perfect timing, Zoria. Hi, nice to see you online. Zoria is another member uh, of, of family who real estate, invests in real estate and is building a life or, and a legacy around real estate. Um, so, you know, if we'd love to hear a little bit more about some people who are also engaging in real estate for their futures and see why why you want to do it for your family. So, um, love to hear back from some people. Comment and like below, share it, uh, and join in on our next conversation. We usually will connect on uh, Tuesday around the same time. What about you, Tara? What do you think? No, I, uh, I'm feeling complete. I don't, yeah. <laughs> It's just such a natural conversation for us, right? Like family, family, real estate, it is one in the same. It's really the whole part of it all, right? It is. It's, it's the why I, I, I've chosen real estate. If, if I wasn't a mother and I didn't have it, then I don't think I would have had the drive or the motivation to find a vehicle like real estate, period, full stop. Like I just, yeah. it, I'm, the, I'm the first one that's really taken these steps within my family to do something like this. So, um, and it was all just trying to work smarter and not harder. So, but yeah, like it is real estate is family a hundred percent. Cause without it, I don't, I honestly, I don't know what I, I can't, I don't know what my future would have been like. So where I would have went. Well, I'm glad that it's here and when real estate and with me. Yes, me too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is fun. I'm enjoying chatting with you. Yes, me too. I'm really glad we started to do this. That's for sure. So anybody have uh, topic ideas that you want to hear us chit chat about next time? Please let us know. Um, we'd love to hear what you think is the heart of real estate. And, um, and yeah, let's just keep the conversation going. Yes. All right. Until next time. Bye. Bye. Write replay if you've watched it. <laughs> Bye. Oh, good idea. Learning all the tips. <laughs> <laughs>